Hi, I'm Erin Manning, and I'm here to help you create beautiful photos the easy way. Today, we're going to be capturing high-key beauty portraits. In this video, we'll be covering the basics for capturing a bright, fresh, airy, high-key beauty image of our model, Sue. Hi. Hi, Sue. She'll be using these pictures for social media and her modeling portfolio. Now, I'll be shooting it with the One Light Strobe Light Kit, and that includes this 32-inch Octobox softbox, and I'm also going to be using this 30-inch 5-in-1 reflector, and Westcott has some other products that you can also add on, and I like to use the X-Drop Backdrop System. Now, the kit here all comes in a great little case that I can use to carry anywhere. It's really easy to use. All right, so now we want to get our camera settings set. But before you do that, you want to set your strobe light. So I've set the strobe light to half power. Now I can pick up my camera and, you know, every lighting situation is a little bit different. We're shooting in a room with no windows. You may be somewhere else, but I'm going to give you my camera settings so you have something to start with. First off, exposure, get out of automatic. You want to make sure you're shooting an M for manual. This gives you a lot more control. My shutter speed is at 1 80th of a second. Shutter speed um, lights for the ambient light, meaning the backdrop in this instance, and we want the backdrop to be nice and white. So I'm using 1 80th, and my f-stop is f7.1. Now you can play around with that. I like f5.6 also. It keeps things in focus for a nice portrait. And my ISO is at 100. And in this instance, to make sure I don't have any kind of funny color cast in my image, because that happens sometimes, I set my white balance to flash. So now that we have everything all set up, let's go ahead and set up the lights. By the way, you might be wondering how I'm actually setting off the flash. In this instance, I'm using radio triggers. I have one on my camera and one connected to the strobe. But if you don't have radio triggers, inside the kit, um, we have a sync cord. So one side connects to your camera, the other connects to the strobe light, and that way you can activate your flash and you don't have to have radio triggers. Okay, now in this scene we have four elements. We have the backdrop, our model Sue, we've got the light, and the reflector. Now we're going to be working with all four of these. First off, whenever you're shooting in front of a backdrop, typically you want your subject far away from that backdrop, like 10 feet at least. But if you're shooting in a tight space, or if you want to make sure you're lighting up the background with one light, then you want to scoot your model a little bit closer. So Sue's sitting right now about two and a half feet away from the backdrop. The light placement is kind of almost in the front because that's beauty lighting. Beauty light, the light comes in from above in the front and that diminishes any wrinkles or imperfections. Not that she has any, but you'll know that's how beauty lighting is taken. So we've got this nice, beautiful Octobox softbox kind of up above her face, but low enough so I can still get some light in her eyes. And when she holds this reflector, so Sue, I'm gonna have you just hold that. and the way she's got this angled is now this light from here is going to bounce into the reflector up into her up into her face so it's going to take care of any shadows so it'll be shadowless and nice fresh bright high key light very pretty so now we've got a nice white backdrop i'm zooming in really close on some of these and i'm taking some landscape shots and some verticals and now turn your body even more towards the light that's nice you can kind of Swish your hair around, that's pretty, because we want these to be full of energy, like, ah, ha, 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 yes, pretty. And actually, open your mouth like a big laugh. Nice. Those look great. And I like how she's holding this, so it's, this light's bouncing down into it. This is actually called a clamshell. It's a clamshell, so light here and light here. And it's lighting her all up. Looks beautiful. Now Westcott has a lot of other products that work great with the One Light Strobe Light Kit. In this instance, I'm now using the 45 inch white shoot through umbrella. And the reason why is because umbrellas put out a lot more light in all different directions and I wanted to see what that would look like since this is a light, bright, airy, high key shot. Let's uh, give it a whirl and see what it looks like.
I hope this video has inspired you and given you more confidence in working with a strobe light and creating a high key image. Once you learn the basics, the whole world opens up with lighting possibilities. If you'd like to learn more about the One Light Strobe Light Kit, check out fjwestcott.com.